Three, two, one. What's up, everyone? Dan here, Crypto Capital Venture. Put a smile on your face today, February 1st, 2018. The markets are red, but it's a good day to be alive. And I just want to throw that reminder out there because, you know, life doesn't revolve around the markets. Life doesn't revolve around money. So with that being said, let's look at the markets. Let's do some technical analysis because things are getting crazy. The first thing I wanna focus on jumping into the chart is it happened. We, you know, we, we pretty much demolished the 40 support that we've been seeing and kind of bouncing off of and testing on the RSI. And I said it yesterday in the video, if we break this and start heading down, um, you know, then, then it's gonna be kind of concerning and we really need to, we need to find new areas of support because um, it's just not a good thing when this happens. So it happened. We we demolished the 40 line on the RSI, and now we're kind of just, you know, right now trading at 139, and nobody knows what's going to happen. So what I want to focus on in this video is I want to look at the Fibonacci retracement, and I don't actually. This is probably the first time I'm talking about it in a video because I simply just don't use it a lot. Now. I don't use it a lot. A lot of traders like to use it, you know, on shorter time frames like the hourly or the four hour. And they they like to trade based on the Fibonacci retracement. And I like to do it and use it on, you know, larger time frames like the daily because more of it gives us clues into uh, what could possibly happen next in situations like these. You know, I'm a, you know, I'm a Litecoin long-term holder. I really don't trade. I really look to buy dips. So when we're in markets like, you know, this dip and this and this and this, I look at it as opportunity. I know, you know, a lot of people are panicking probably right now. And, you know, that's kind of partly, you know, it's going to play a hand in, into when this will end. But this is opportunity as well. So let's talk about the opportunity. Let's just look at what's going on. This isn't like a first time happening in cryptocurrency this happens often and it also happens often in, in regular markets like the stock market and stuff it just it doesn't happen as often as crypto so the fibonacci is really i mean it's i'll put a link that'll really kind of help you if you want to read more about it it's actually been used for centuries outside of even trading but just in art and um life and it's it's it was created by a mathematician i think in like I don't know, the year 1100 or something. So it's been used for a while. It's a sequence of ratios that in terms of trading, help us find, you know, from, from these swing points of highs and lows, right? Using the retracement method helps us to find support and it confirms areas of support. That's pretty much what it's used for. It's used in so many different ways and strategies in terms of trading, but let's, let's really look at the historical um clues that we find in litecoin using the fibonacci retracement and forgive me i'm using a trackpad on my uh mac so this I, I like to keep these videos short however you know this gets tough doing this so let's do it let's start back in april obviously litecoin made some nice moves throughout 2017 and one thing to notice is just on these highs, right? We, we see new highs and then we see retracement. And then we see these previous highs broken with new highs and then retracement. And then we see the previous highs broken with a new high and then it retraces back down. And then we look to find the next time the previous high is broken, like right here, and then it retraces. So you see these previous highs being broken time and time again, and it creates these these steps the chart looks like steps especially in this bull market that we've been in um now those steps also act as you know support for when we do retrace back down and that's kind of what we're going to start experiencing right now so the key is to look at this and and find clues what has litecoin done in the past and we can use um we can use the the fibonacci to find what it's done so let's let's just let's look right here so we have kind of a trace up retrace down to this new low and we have this high as you can see up there 
we obviously hit a ceiling there and we retraced back down. So we retraced back down to 786 on the Fibonacci tool. Okay, so keep that in mind, 786. It's a very conservative number when using the Fibonacci to look to enter back into a buying position. Um, a lot of people use the 618 for this. 786, it increases your risk reward because you know we're talking it's 78% um, retracement. So, uh, but if you look this wick, it really did touch the 786 on that run. So let's close that. Let's look at the next one. So we retraced down, we had a new low and right there. And then we broke that high, that previous high right here. And we've retraced down just below the 50. Okay. So let's keep it going. I hope you're following me here. We have this retracement from this high. Let's grab it, put it to this new high. And we have this, look at this retracement. Let me try and zoom in here. I know this is tough to see and I apologize. See, I'm just not, I don't use, I don't use Fibonacci a lot. So, um, so with this, this high in September, we really retrace back down. And this is something I really want to focus on. Um, so we have, this is a second 786 that we just pulled up in Litecoin, you know, in the last six months or so. And in this one, what you see is we, we pierced and broke through the 50 EMA. And we even tested with this wick, the 200 EMA. Um, so what you will notice again, we, we broke and we started to pierce the 786, but you'll also notice that there was, um, let me get rid of this so you can see. So we, we traced down to set, retraced down to 786, but you can see right here, um, this previous support of this high kind of acting as support here. And that's something to focus on this $50. It was like a $50 support right through the 786. Now from there, we obviously, we recovered from that the, right below the 786. And then obviously, you know what happens next, you know, and let me try and open this up so I can draw this <laughs> for you. You know what I should be doing? Look at that. That's so much easier. And let's draw the 786 from this, from this wick down here to these previous highs which is currently off my screen. <laughs> so let's just put it there. All right, there we go. So right now we are sitting at, you know, right between 618 and the 786. Now there's a couple things happening. Let's look at where the 786 is. The 786 is around $107 um, based on how I, actually, you know what? This needs to go up a little bit. So, 786 is at around 115 and right at 130 i'm looking at as our next area of you know support and if we don't if we don't hold above 130 being there was a previous support area as well as it's literally where the 200 ema is um the 786 is you know probably going to be tested uh if not going below it and wicking through it if not having a closing bar through it. Uh, it's, a, it's just a true possibility. And right, right there, right below that 786 is $100 uh, support. So I know I'm kind of rushing through this. It's just because I, I, I hate making long videos, um, but I wanted to provide some context of what we're looking at. So as far as now that we are, you know, we broke that RSI, we broke that 40 line. We obviously broke through the 150 support and we're heading down. The question is where, where can we find some, some support for Litecoin? And the answer is, in my opinion, it's, it really lies between that 786 on the Fibonacci retracement and, uh, you know, a hundred dollars, depending on if we find support here at, you know, 130, the 130, it's pretty crazy how it, it you know coincides with the 200 EMA and also this previous support line which is also a previous high 
that access support, very interesting that it's at 100. So we have a couple support lines that we're kind of starting to come up on and they're gonna be critical to look at. Now, right now, I'm kind of just, I'm watching. I'm not really, you know, I'm not sure I want to buy just yet and add to my position for Litecoin because um, I just, you know, I personally just don't feel comfortable with it just yet. I wanna see some things start turning around and um, if you start looking at the lower time frame, uh, you know, candles, I would at least like to see a four hour green and you know we just don't we just don't have that right now so who knows how long this will continue it's just a question however i think it's nice to have a couple key support areas to look at falling back on because it's important because if we start breaking those then it's kind of like okay you know what kind of market are we entering here um i'm not so you know i'm not so keen to say that we're entering a bear market this is so far, typical from what we've seen. We're getting ready to test that 786 Fibonacci. And we've done it many, many times before. So this is not the first time it's happening. And I'm sure it won't be the last. It's important in the continual continual uptrend of Litecoin. So uh, you just have to be patient with it. You have to wait on it. Don't panic. Uh, hopefully you're just, you know, you have a plan right now and hopefully you're not spending more cash than you can afford to lose. It's extremely important and I can't stress it enough. I think trading cautiously and conservatively, you know me, is very important. So those are my thoughts on today's technical analysis. Wanted to provide you some context to what's going on. Just remember we have been here before. Uh, I mean, and not even it's not even like it's been years. This is just in August. Look at this. So, you know, hang in there if you are having some stress involved in this and uh, we'll just continue to keep an eye on it. I really appreciate you coming by. Thank you for spending, you know, this one's a little longer, 10 minutes or so, but definitely appreciate you watching. Let me know your thoughts, your comments, how you're reacting and responding right now to the markets. And I will see you on the next video. God bless.